to TMI, uh, short for um, T-Money Insights. I am your host, uh, Teresa Harding, aka T-Money, and welcome to another episode, um, episode number 25, which I had to like go back to last week, so I'm like, what number am I on again? I'm losing track, guys. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Oh, Miss Stephanie. I like that. Lady T. That might, that, might, that might have to be like another nickname for me. I love it. <laughs> Hi, Stephen Jones. Hello, Rosie. Hello, Patty Gutter. Hi, Angela. Hi, everyone. <laughs> All right. Um, so I do have a little confession to make. Um, I'm not as like prepared for tonight's episode. Um, I did my best. Um, it has been a little crazy recently. Um, hello, Christy. <laughs> So just kind of running around, getting ready for like Valentine's Day. I've had a lot of like last minute orders, um, which is nice and that's cool. I'll take it. Um, but it's just, you know, I'm very type A personality. So I like to have things in order. Um, order organization, I, I, that's, I can't function without it. So um, I definitely, so when I have these last minute people who are approaching me for stuff, I'm like, okay well these are the options and you can't be extra you can't you can't <laughs> and then like last week um i got like a, a little heated as far as like um some of my friends like i had one of my friends who was texting me uh, because his sister was having a baby shower and he was texting me what they were doing as far as balloons and he's like look what we're doing and i'm like you know um you know, we've been friends for how many years and you know I do balloons and why are you sending me this photo? And then he had the audacity to ask me for tips as far as how to make the balloons. And I was like, oh my gosh, I I was polite. And I told him like, you know, next time you can just hire me. And then he still proceeded to ask if he could have some helium. And I said, no, <laughs> it's like, good luck at Party City. So, um, yeah, people, people kind of drove me crazy last week. Um, you know, and then California has kind of lifted their stay at home order. So now traffic has been a little bit more so than lately. And for those who don't know me, I have, I know you'll be shocked. I have really bad road rage. <laughs> so mm, <laughs> people have been driving me insane on the road. Um, yeah, sailor here. So um, if you ever visit California, I, I I would rather not drive you around because you'll have this image of me just shattered. <laughs> Anywho, hello everyone. Oh, hi, Crystal Rutan. Hello, Matt Russell. Hi, Jackie. <laughs> Catching up on all the comments. Hi, Dina. <laughs> oh, I've got good answers for that. Oh, Crystal, we'll have to talk about that. Hey, Marissa. <laughs> Anywho, so yeah, I just, people have just like, people have just kind of been under my skin lately and I've just had to like, I need to calm down and I'm usually a really patient person. And so, yeah, I had to like, <laughs> mental health moments here. <laughs> Anywho, I hope you all had a good week and gearing up for Valentine's Day. Um, I'm still kind of keeping to the theme as far as uh, tea money music. Um, I'm excited for you to see that. <laughs> um, but we're going to go ahead and start off our very first segment, which is three minutes with tea. Um, I was able to find another lovely couple to interview today. So I'm really excited for you all to meet them. So without further ado, let's go on to our first segment with three minutes with tea. Here we go. Introduce yourself and tell us where you're located. I'm Rosie. And I'm Moises. And we're located in Chicago and Pilsen. In the Pilsen oh. <laughs> right. Oh, wow. You're really close where Flow 2022 is going to be yes, then. Yes, yes. Nice. So if Steve wants us to do any errands for him, let us give us a call, send us a message, and 
You can get that done for him. Wow, well, this interview is recorded, so this is going to be true. <laughs> <laughs> Aww. Also, and how long have you been in uh, the balloon industry and what's the name of your company? Um, our, our name is Rosie Looms. We took it from Rosie and then Noon, so we put it together and he named it Rosie Looms. Yeah, it was his idea. That was my, my uh, yeah. findings. Uh, Rosie Looms. Rosie Looms. <laughs> so, Aww. For, for eight years now. Wow, holy moly. And what got you into balloons? Well, I was I wanted to have a, a 40th birthday eight years ago, so I'm kind of telling you my age. <laughs> you look fantastic. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, I wanted to do some uh, palm trees, some balloon palm trees. And uh, I was researching on YouTube, and it started from there. And then um, I had a cousin who was going to have a baby shower, and I'd say, hey, I could do some cute balloons. So I was practicing. And it went from there. And then at the baby shower, there was a lot of people. And then said, can you do a balloon for me? And I'm like, sure, for free. I was doing everything for free until I said, OK. It was too much because it was a friend of a friend, a cousin. And I said, you know, I need to start charging. Start making <laughs> so, some money. Yeah, start making money. <laughs> and he would sit down and watch me. And then he says, you want me to help you? I'm like, sure. Oh, and, that's, yes. and that's how he joined in. Yeah, joined in. And what I do a lot is uh, the framing for the work. So she designs, and I frame it, and then we work it together, and we put it all together. Yeah, but he's, 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 good. he's better than me. <laughs> what she's saying. Aww. Yeah, so it's a team yeah. You guys are so cute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Aww. Now, so um, how many times have you gone to the float convention? Uh, this will be our first time. Oh, yes, really? Time, yes. Wow. Wow. Um, how did you hear about the float convention? Um, through the social media. You know how the, the groups and yeah. I wanted to go to, uh, the year before, but it's just we were so busy that it's just, it's hard. <laughs> and this year we told ourselves, you know what, we we, we deserve it. <laughs> we we gotta say no to our clients and take some time off. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's our time. <laughs> well, this will be my first time too. So, hey, you know, wow. us, our first time, us first timers got to stick together, guys. Yes, <laughs> I'm excited. I can't wait to meet everyone. Yes. <laughs> and to well, learn new techniques. Yeah. <laughs> right? I, yes. I'm excited for the teachers, the techniques. And, you know, I'm really, uh, I'm really glad to like, just to get to know new people. Yes. So like, it's been a treat so yeah. far. Um, so you've been in the industry for about eight years. What is the funniest situation that's ever happened to you as far as balloons? The oh. funniest? <laughs> not, not much, really. Right? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, all, I'm very... Like, all serious stuff. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just, you know... It's, it's fun. It's, it's just fun, fun. I, I guess. I can think of something. No worries, no worries. I, I'm, I'm very... How do I say it? I don't want anything to go wrong. Mm -hmm. So, so far, thank God nothing has went wrong where it comes chaos. So, yeah, we're still, <laughs> still good. <laughs> you guys are very lucky because yeah. I can't seem to like stop having funny stories, but you know, I'm a work in progress. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's so true. Well, yeah. It was such a pleasure to like meet you too. Um, the timer you. went off. But thank you so much for joining me, and so I can't great. wait to hang out with you in Chicago. Yes, <laughs> yes, thank you, uh, Rosie and Moises from Rosie Loons. Um, I really appreciate you saying uh, yes to the interview. I am a fan of your work. Uh, just, you know, you too. And I'm glad I got to just get to know you guys. You guys, you guys are so adorable. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, um, and you know, rewatching this interview, you know, um, I totally like identify with Rosie as far as like, you know, trying your best not to have things in chaos. So, you know, I'm really looking forward to meeting you both um, in 2022. So again, I, I can't thank you enough. Thank you for taking the time to uh, sit down and have some tea with me, guys. Thank you. <laughs> it was my pleasure, Rosie. Thank you. <laughs> 
Um, we talked a little bit afterwards about um, the weather as far as Chicago. And I happened to mention that, you know, I tend to be a wimp when it comes to weather. Um, I was talking about like how I was um, having a hard time with 50 degree weather. And they were like, that's summer weather. So <laughs> they were, um, you know, they were encouraging me saying that it's not gonna be so bad. So I hope so. Um, so I was thinking about weather at one point and then I was thinking about um, the amount of layers I'm going to have to prep for Chicago. Because <laughs> guys, you just don't understand. I uh, born and raised in Southern California. So 50 degree weather here is, that's freezing. Like I'm, I'm shivering. It's bad. <laughs> so we'll see. I might have to like have a portable heater with me everywhere I go or, you know, just like three different jackets. So we will see. We will see. <laughs> Anywho, let's go on to Team Money Music. <laughs> so um, like I said, for this particular um, month, I kind of kept it like, I guess, love songs. <laughs> so last week was kind of more of a ballad. And this week, decided to really switch it up this week. So I hope you enjoy and here we go. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Yeah, it was really funny because I heard this song and I was like, that is, I've never done that song before. And, you know, I was thinking about cold weather. It has actually been very cold here lately. Um, at one point during the week, I actually was like, I do feel like I'm coming down with something. I really hope it's not a fever. So I was like, you know, let's try this out. Um, I must say I did a couple of takes. Um, layers is not easy, guys. I am not a fan of layers. <laughs> so, anywho, yeah, went a different direction as far as, like, the love theme song, so. <laughs> Thank you, Angela. Appreciate it. Seth. <laughs> anywho, um, we're gonna go ahead and go on to the new segment, and, um, I have a couple of things to talk about, and we'll go on from there. Here we go. All right, so let's talk about the float foundation classes, shall we? Um, as well, we'll talk about that later. Let's talk about the gear up for graduation class. Um, that is taking place on February 23rd at 6 p.m. or 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, the last day to register, the class closes on February 21st at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Class is being taught by Melissa Vincent. Um, I don't know about you, but graduation was kind of crazy last year. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what Melissa has to offer. Um, I'm a big fan of her work. So I'm really, really excited to actually see the teaching side to Melissa. I only know her from uh, Tuesdays with Tony. So this should be, I'm, I'm super jazzed about this. <laughs> um, as promised, because I've been talking about the class and I keep forgetting to have the graphic up, we have Jeff's class. Um, coming up in March, um, March 16th. This is a free class um, to the Float Fam. Um, as long as you are, um, you know, registered for Float 2022. Um, I'm really excited about this because this is a topic that I feel like I can utilize like immediately with my business. Um, it's all about supercharging your website. So I'm really, really looking forward to this class. I cannot wait. A um, couple other things. Um, my favorite topic, which is Roscoe. <laughs> the Dress Roscoe Up movement, or as I like to say, drum. Um, so there was pictures and I decided I was really inspired. So with Super Bowl, I'm, I'm actually not a Super Bowl fan. I'm not really, not really a sports fan in general, um, except when the Dodgers are in the the championship series. Um, but then I don't really follow sports. Uh, but I do like the commercials on Super Bowl. So um, there was an Amazon uh, commercial for Alexa. And it's hilarious. I can't stop laughing whenever I see it. Um, so I saw these photos, these very recent photos of Roscoe, and I was just kind of inspired to do like uh, a mini version of like a Super Bowl commercial. So I'm going to go ahead and play that for you, and I hope you enjoy. Here we go. Wait, did I, I did upload. Here we go. Alexa, where's Roscoe? social media with Roscoe and Alexa with their Minnie Mouse ears like I I literally like did the highest pitch scream that I could ever do and I was like oh my gosh like look at these two I can't I can't <laughs> so yeah Roscoe got his little uh Mickey Mouse ears and he was matching with Alexa it was so so adorable so 
If you would like to make a small hat donation to the uh, Dress Rosco Up movement, feel free <laughs> to send these items to P.O. Box 258, Issaquah, Washington, 98027. Um, next here on our agenda, let's see here, we have, hold on, let me get rid of the little scrolling thing. Okay, so we have uh, the weekly forecast. Let me go ahead and prep that. Here we go. All right, so today is clean out your computer day. Oh, dear goodness, I'm going to need more than a day to do that. Um, as organized as I like to be, um, computers is not my strong point as far as organization, but I am working on that. So um, I might do a little bit of it today, we'll see. Tuesday is National Pizza Day. Wednesday is Umbrella Day. Thursday is Make a Friend Day. Friday is uh, the Chinese New Year. It'll be the, the year of the ox, so. Saturday is Radio Day, and of course, Sunday is Valentine's Day. I just feel like this week, though, is just already flying by. Uh, I I think it like started like earlier this morning. It's just been nonstop. Um, kind of had a little bit of a hectic day today, but it's okay. You know, breathe. But we'll get into mental health moments a little in a little bit here. So. Um, let's go on to our very last topic, which is the float forum. So, um, you know, and before I address the float forum, you know, I know it was mentioned that there's still people who are on the 75 for 75 plan and they haven't made any payments, um, aside from the 75, um, y'all should get on that. Um, you know, as far as, you know, getting registered as soon as possible, um, you know, being registered kind of secures your spot, especially with everything that could possibly happen with COVID. Um, you know, secure your spot. You want to make sure um, it gives you access to the float forum, which we will go ahead and welcome the new members in just a moment. Um, you would get access to Jeff's free class. I mean, we could always use tips of, um, to improve our website. Come on. And then once you're fully registered, you will have the capability to book your hotel room for Chicago for January, 2022. So highly encourage you to uh, get on that, take care of that right away. Um, you don't wanna miss out. Um, so we're gonna go back to the float forum and welcome the newest members to our group. Um, we had quite a bit, um, I had to like triple check um, the list of names because there was just so many of them from last week. So. Welcome, welcome. Um, we're really glad to have you here and really looking forward to um, any questions and insights that you might have. So um, we're gonna welcome the newest members and then we're gonna go straight into mental health moments. So here we go. <music> mental health moments background. <laughs> All right, so um, we're gonna go ahead and begin our uh, checkup from the neck up. 
and we're going to begin with a quote. So today's quote is inspired by uh, Maya Angelou, um, and it goes, My mission in life is not merely to survive, but to thrive, and to do so with some passion, some compassion, some humor, and some style. I will repeat that one more time. So, my mission in life is to not merely sur to survive, but to thrive and to do so with some passion, some compassion, some humor, and some style. So, I really like that one. That really kind of just spoke to me. Um, I actually found this last night and I was just like, you know, as much as I was like, feeling like people were getting to me last week, I just, you know, kind of needed just to like reflect and step back, you know. I try not to let the little things get to me, but sometimes they do. And I just kind of needed a reminder to just, you know, be me. <laughs> um, Self-care reminders. So what are you doing to take care of you? Um, you need to make sure to take some time to reflect and kind of recenter yourself. So um, whether it's like, you know, maybe putting on um, some music you really enjoy or um, reading your favorite book um, or I, I personally, I like tea. I like tea a lot. Um, you know, talking with a friend, going for a run. You need to do something that kind of helps you know, that brings joy to you. You need to make sure that you fill your own personal cup. Um, we are in an industry where we provide service to others. So um, you can't provide top quality service if you yourself aren't full. So be sure to take care of yourself and be kind. Uh, be kind to you, be kind to others. Um, I mean, we're entering uh, Valentine's Day season, so, um, there should be a lot more love in the air, right? <laughs> oh gosh. So that is my, my show for today. Um, I apologize. It's not as, you know, uh, work has just been a little crazy. So, um, I actually had to like voice my concerns a couple weeks ago. And what's nice is they actually like listened. So I actually have some help as in the form of a volunteer. So, which is nice, but um, until the volunteers kind of train, I'm still doing extra duty. So now I have to like train this person and still do stuff. So it's just been a little crazy, but it's okay. Things will work out. So, um, just reminding myself to be kind and be kind to others. <laughs> Guys, that's my show. So I will see you next week for episode, uh, number 26. Um, if you happen to be around at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time tomorrow, um, for Tuesdays with Tony, I am usually there with my big bro. Um, yeah, and I'm actually really excited to work with him, um, together on TNT, um, for the flotation device. Uh, I actually just finished the logo for that. So let me show that to you really quick. Here we go. So this is our, our little logo. <laughs> Um, based off the suggestions from last week with Tuesdays with Tony, there, um, we added sharks <laughs> and, um, I went ahead and changed my picture as well. Um, so I'm really happy with how it turned out. I'm looking forward to spending some more time, um, with my adopted bro and the teachers, um, for float 2022. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, I believe we have our very first um, podcast scheduled for next week. Oh gosh, the 15th is next week. It is the 15th. Okay. So anyways, yeah, really excited. Looking forward to that. So guys, you have a wonderful rest of your day. Um, you know, and just remember to just keep floating. You all take care. Have a good one. Mm.